Hi, welcome to another episode of The Profit Builder. Thanks for joining me today. In today's video, I would like to just talk with you about how do you make sure that you're clear about what you're hiring for when you're out there hiring. You know, I know that, in, especially in today's market, that it's really tough to find people. And especially finding people with the right skills and talents to do a job effectively. But one of the things that I know really has helped a lot of the clients that I've worked with is that when they are super clear about what's the position that they're hiring for, and I mean having defined what the skills, qualifications, responsibilities are well in advance of actually hiring that person, that they have made much better hires and have actually been able to attract the right people to come and work for them. So I'm going to show you an example of a job description for a project manager and really kind of walk you through those parts and talk about it a little bit so that you can see exactly what I'm talking about. So in this position agreement for a project manager, there are three major sections on the very first page here. And those three sections define and I, I always start this from the place of defining, well, what are the major responsibilities of that job? Now, when I say major responsibilities, I don't mean what are all the tasks they have to do. I mean, what are the big chunks that they're accountable for in order for you to know that they are being, and they can know that they're being successful in that job? What are their primary areas of accountability or responsibility? I recommend that you have the discipline to keep these to about five to seven, because what it makes you do is it makes you go from making this long list of tasks to really focusing on what are the big chunk, most important things. And why this is really key is that if you wanna build a team around you that takes ownership and responsibility, one of the most direct ways to do that is to be really clear about what are the results you want somebody to produce, as opposed to just what are the tasks you want them to perform. Because when you focus on tasks, then people become like um, taskmasters, right? They, they just respond to doing the pieces in the work. And we've all experienced working with somebody at one time or another in our careers that is somebody who just does the task, but they don't re take responsibility for the whole of a job. And really, you want people who are going to take responsibility for producing results, not just doing all the tasks. So this, in defining major responsibilities in your position agreements, is a great beginning point to do that, where you're going you're gonna to limit it to what are the big chunk things that I need to have somebody who's got experience and qualifications to have done in this job before. The second piece of this position agreement that I recommend that you tackle is being really clear about what are the skills and qualifications that you want someone to have in order to be successful at this job. Now, one of the things that I see people do a lot of times is that you have maybe people who have worked for you in that position before, but they don't really have all the skills and qualifications that you need. And you think, or maybe even you don't have a high degree of skills and experience in this particular job. And you feel like you have to settle for somebody with equal to or less experience than you ideally would like because, well, you have someone else who does it who doesn't have that experience, or maybe you don't have that experience. And one of the things I say is when you're writing a position agreement and you're gonna hire somebody, hire for ideally what you would like and not from a place of being um, overly discriminating to the point where you eliminate all candidates, but really from a place of making sure that you're making a good hire and that you're looking when you're you're sorting for someone and you're interviewing, you're looking and you're talking to people and you're, you're uh, you know, considering candidates, the clearer you can be about what skills and qualifications they need to have and experience and what major responsibilities they're accountable for. That clarity for you as a manager and a business owner 
will allow you to have more confidence to be able to ask the right questions when you're in the middle of that interview or you're screening candidates or you're even looking for someone so that you can clearly articulate who it is that you're looking for. And in a market when it's really tough to find qualified people, the clearer you are about this, the more you're gonna be able to attract and find the right candidate because you know exactly what you're looking for. So the third piece of this is just kind of the summary, if you will, of just an overall, what encapsulates the overall responsibilities or of the scope of this job. That's just the key piece that I recommend that you have at least this done when you go to look for candidates or before you go searching for someone or, or um, go post for a job or give somebody information about a position, have this sheet done up so that you can hand them a one page or email them this one page that says, hey, here's what we're looking for. Or you're, you're, uh, a candidate sends in their resume, you can send them this, right? Again, though, I will say that you having the clarity about it will really help you a lot when you're having to screen for candidates. I'm, there's more to this position agreement than I've actually got shown here. And uh, I, what I really wanted to focus on in this video was just talking about what are the elements for being prepared to go out and do a search for somebody and or when you're interviewing someone so that there's that clarity about what are you really hiring for? Doing a position agreement for the job before you start your search and before you start interviewing will really help you out a lot. So I hope that you've enjoyed, I hope you've enjoyed today's video and that you have found it to be helpful. And I look forward to seeing you next time. And by the way, if you have questions about anything that I've talked about today, feel free to pop them in the comments section below and I will make sure to respond to them. Have a great day.